Thank you. Thanks for your time on a Saturday. Um, I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional <coughs> owners of country and recognising their continuing connection and pay our respects to their elders past and present. Um, so the project I want to talk to you about today is a, a timber extension that we did at 55 South Oakley Road and 40 South Oakley Road and City Road. The original building was designed by SJB. It was a relatively um, handsome building, I, I guess. It was designed in 1986 and it was designed to take five levels of, of concrete over. Um, and our client came to us and said, look, I need to deliver a 220 hotel room and the only way we could do this was by using timber. Timber's about 20% away from concrete. So we would not have been able to deliver the 220 hotel rooms if we delivered a concrete extension on this site. Um, using timber is obviously an incredibly sustainable way of um, delivering this outcome. There's a huge amount of carbon sequestered within the timber. Um, using timber is also incredibly efficient, so much of it is prefabricated, well actually all of it is prefabricated and cut on site and then delivered to site and more or less screwed together um, like a Lego or a Lucano set. Timber buildings also have the potential to um, to be much much healthier than, um, than traditional buildings. Now this building is, um, we think, the largest timber extension in the world um, and it is one of the tallest um, concrete steel timber hybrid projects. It is a hybrid project because there are two levels of steel and concrete transfer which sit on top of the existing commercial building. Um, we also like the fact this building is somewhat diminutive when you look at the context. It's surrounded by some of Melbourne's tallest buildings. Um, they did provide some benefit in there, providing quite a lot of shading to our facade. So we were able to deliver a high performing double glazed facade um, that is relatively unadorned because so much of it is in shadow um, during the daytime. Um, one of the big moves on this project and one that we're very proud of is the fact that the existing nine level commercial building was able to remain in operation during the construction of this um, timber extension. One of the other things that isn't talked about much in timber extensions is the fact that they, the, the construction process actually is very, very quiet, which is perfect in this sort of situation. Um, the existing commercial building had floor by floor plant on each level. We were able to demolish that floor, well actually construct new plant for the existing commercial building, decommission the existing floor by floor plant, re remain, keep the commercial function in operation and then almost in a surgical manner insert a new lift core in the location where that floor by floor plant was located which served not only our ground floor lobby and access into the hotel but then also the 10 levels of new hotel rooms. We were also able to locate a new fire stair serving this building which sits on top of the existing fire stair um, and was already there in the case of the commercial building. So 10 levels of new cross laminated timber hotel rooms sitting on top of two levels of steel and concrete transfer structure, nine level existing concrete frame building. This is the ground floor plan that was in existence when we started on the project. You can see in yellow there is that existing commercial um, lobby which provides access to those two lifts. Client said to us you need to keep that operational during construction. Um, and then there's a podium car park at the rear which we obtained. We were able to create a new highly visible hotel lobby space on City Road with those three new lifts that sit in place of the existing plan. That'll make more sense when we jump up to the tip of the floors. Client, as were we, very keen to provide highly visible um, presence to the hotel on the street. Um, it needed to be very visible and obvious and, uh, and announce itself. Um, and then in terms of the architecture, the brief was that we want to elevate the existing building by delivering a highly contextual response to this building. So it needed to be sympathetic. It wasn't, it wasn't about trying to create a contrast in appearance to this building. So there's a series of um, horizontal um, buildings expressed uh, in the horizontal as you rise up through the building in order to create a, a kind of asymmetrical response to that existing aura that's um, present on top of the existing building. We located the hotel amenity pool area gymnasium. Um, new plant for the existing commercial building in the middle there and then some new plant for the, the new hotel. 
each typical hotel level is identical, which is fantastic when you're building with timber. 22 rooms per floor, so 220 rooms in, in, in total. Um, very generously proportioned rooms, lift core in the northeast corner there, great a access to light and views all around this, this building. So hotel's doing incredibly well. Uh, there's about 1,800 tonnes of timber in the building, so you can see here um, very dense, densely packed um, timber structure, which has been, it's almost like a honeycomb type structure, which has been fantastic for the building's performance. On the eastern side of the site, we did introduce, um, those lifts are in a steel framed um, core, and then the fire stair is also in a steel frame core, and that's provided fantastic lateral st stability. And uh, underneath all of that, we have that very significant transfer structure. So we went through a very, uh, well, not protracted, but a very long ECI process. And that's something that you do need to do when you're working with timber. You need to engage with the builder very early on in order to start working with subcontractors to get your, to get your um, sizing panels right and your penetrations. As I said, very significant steel transfer floor. The timber did come from Austria, which I think you could argue is a, is a negative. The intention was that it was going to come from a factory in Wodonga that was um, an excellent, it's, um, it's, it's been built subsequently. It wasn't ready when we came to do this building, but that factory is in existence and, and is now providing timber um, all over Australia. Um, the site conditions are actually safer working with timber because you have fewer people on site because there's less work actually done on site because so much of it comes in comes in ready to um, to screw together. Um, another big thing is these panels were between, some of them, the larger panels were 12 metres by three metres high, so very big, which contributes to reduction in the number of crane lifts when compared with um, concrete. So again, um, much more sustainable construction process. We also use bathroom pods um, throughout, so significant amount of prefabrication. I do have a confession to make. The, Timber actually is clad in plasterboard, and that's not solely about um, fire performance, it's actually about the weight of the building. In order to keep the thickness of the timber panels down, we did have to clad it in plasterboard. The finished project, um, double height void on City Road into the lobby space, uh, meeting rooms, all on top of the existing building, very generously proportioned um, hotel rooms. We've used timber veneers in the hotel room to relate it back to the, um, the, the, the cross laminated timber that's used being used throughout the building. Um, we celebrated the, the building as a turn corner with that moment, um, that balcony detail, um, and that sits in front of the gymnasium. Um, some financial metrics, probably the top one's the most important, $55 million project cost, valuation of the building, 28 million in 2015. It's now 125, $13 million, $125 million more. So we see this building um, as not being about purely something that is an expression of timber, but it's actually sold to crack management, functional solution. And we're starting to think about how this could be a precedent for other projects in Melbourne. And we think there are scenarios where you say, okay, we can deliver 450,000 square metres of um, new commercial or new hotel space and sequester 90,000 tonnes of carbon from the atmosphere in that timber. Thank you.